Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Jake. I'm a web developer, web designer, and own my own agency. I wanted to talk to you guys today because the SEO stuff going around on the internet, there's a lot of talk. Um, I rank for 60 different locations for the term web design services in the state of Michigan. Um, so I'm going to show you my exact techniques that I use for my clients today. And this, this technique is very easy. Um, if you're just getting started, this is for you. If you're looking for a way to get a lot of backlinks very quickly, this is for you. However, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a more complicated strategy. The more complicated strategies that they become, the better the quality of the backlink, obviously. So this is a technique to get lots of backlinks um, to diversify your portfolio so that not everything looks bougie and perfect because if you had nothing but high domain authority backlinks to me if i was a search engine i would know that you were manipulating your website on purpose to get there so we want to look organic and we want to look real and like someone that's not really trying because that's what google is looking for they want organic results at the top not because somebody forced their way there through manipulation however today i'm going to teach you how to somewhat manipulate that so let's go ahead and get started um, if I open up right now, you see I have a search string that I'm going to use to search for blogs in my niche so that I can leave a backlink on their site pointing back to my website. So I'm going to leave this in the description. OK, so just remember that right now you don't have to remember anything. Just know that in the end of this video, click on the description and you can just simply copy and paste what I'm showing you right now. You're going to replace the keyword with whatever niche you're in. In this one, I'm saying photography, but you, if you're a roofer, type in maybe steel roofs or whatever it is you want to search for in your niche. If you're a dentist, you'll put dental work or anything related to teeth, anything specifically in your niche you can talk about as long as it's related to whatever you're doing. Next, you're going to see that I'm putting in quotations, leave a comment. And the reason why is because I'm telling Google, I only want you to pull up pages that say leave a comment. Why would I do that? Because when people allow us to leave comments, that is our opportunity to create a backlink. Usually they'll ask you for your name, your email, and then a website address before you leave a comment. Once you comment and that comment gets approved, at that point you have a live link to your website or a backlink. So the next part, I'm telling Google, I want it to say the words awesome post when, I, when you pull up the search results. Why would I want the page to say awesome post? Because that shows me that I'm looking for active comments. Only somebody searching or, or typing out awesome posts, if you see that, most likely that's somebody that's saying, hey, that was a great post in a comment, right? So I'm telling Google, one, it needs to be about photography. Two, it needs to be... Um, a, a site that allows comments and three I want it to be an active comment so these people are actively approving comments or approving backlinks okay so let's go over to Google real quick and I'm going to show you how this works in action I'm going to do a search photography and just like that and then the first one I pull up I'm going to go ahead and open that up so I can show you Okay, so this is a photography blog post. So it's to my niche. It's specifically to my niche. It's not a backlink on a site meant for tires, but about photography. It's on a photography site looking for a, a backlink to my website, which is about photography. So at the bottom, you'll see here, um, I can say, hey, nice post. Okay, and blah, blah, blah. Now, make sure that you're leaving legit comments and you're replying, you're reading their article, even if it's just a few paragraphs, and getting a heartfelt reply. Because if somebody, if you just say, hey, great post, why would I approve that? It looks like a robot and robots are used to generate these um, backlinks for people. So don't do that. Read it and leave a legit reply that you actually care and read it. And then you'll put your name, your email and your website. And when you leave your website, you just created a backlink once they approve your comment. And if I scroll up, you'll see there's tons of comments that have already been approved. And if I scroll over this, this is a photographer 
and it's going to mntphotoshelter.com. So if you click on this, this person gave themselves a backlink using probably a similar strategy as we're using today. So this is that person's website, which is way too slow for SEO. Um, I should call them and talk about this. Their website is loading, but it is loading at the speed of a snail, and that is a huge issue. So anyway, as an example, my point is, is that's all you're doing is you're using that search string to find a bunch of pages in your niche that allow comments or backlinks and that you know that's an active commenting board because it's somebody typed in nice post, right? So copy that below, paste it in Google, put your niche there instead of mine, and you're off to a good spot. Now, the second thing I'm going to leave in the description for you is a website address that you can use to check the domain authority. So let's say you're like, you're kind of a picky person and you want your links to be on only high domain authority back uh, websites, you can do that. So if you go ahead and paste the it's a website, seochecker.com forward slash domain authority checker. And then we're going to go ahead and take that link, that website address that I want to leave a link on, and I'm going to go ahead and check the authority. I'm going to hit check authority. Oops, I didn't see the robot text. Okay, hit check authority. Wow. Okay. So that website has an 89 domain authority. So that is a heck of a backlink. So if you want to get, get picky and say, I only want backlinks on websites with a 50 or higher domain authority, you can do that. If you're not sure what that means, do a real quick search on Google for domain authority and why that matters for your website. But if you do have, if you're a picky person and you want only 50 or higher, you can use this website and uh, start building yourself a list. And you could put, so that one is at the top of my list. I can put DA89, right? So that tells me that I have a domain name, uh, a domain authority of 89. So if you want to measure the authority of the domain and you want to get picky, that's fine. Open up a spreadsheet, start putting your link opportunities up there. Um, so you can keep track on the status of them. So like once I, I, I comment on this website, now I can go back, click on it check to see if my link is live and then i could do something like highlight it and then change it to green that tells me anything green is an active backlink this is just a way to stay organized for you or your clients if you're doing seo i hope you enjoy the video today again i'm going to leave down in the description below it's going to have a link of the, uh, the search string that you're going to need to find these opportunities and it's also going to have a link to the uh, site you can check the domain authority I hope you enjoy the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe because I am going to be releasing tricks like this all the time that you're not going to find on the internet. This is from 15 years of being an SEO guy, and I'm going to share them with you, and I am not getting them from the internet. They're coming from my brain of things that actually work for me. I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe to, to get releases on my next video and stay alerted from any SEO backlink strategies that I come up with. Thank you, and have a great day.